Good morning. Just getting the last little bit of tweetering going. Getting our uh, getting our stream announcements live. But yeah, already already starting off strong in the chat. Appreciate you guys tuning in, chatting it up. And uh, I am I am I am glad that you guys are impressed with the physique. <laughs> But uh, my man Alex, I assure you that what I have done is completely attainable naturally, as I have done it, but there are people who could be in a lot better shape than me in a lot shorter time um, naturally as well. But, you know, we've been, we've been putting in some work for a little while, man. I've been going to the gym since I was 12 years old, and I've been doing sort of bodybuilding focus for the past seven years. And <laughs> my physique is really nothing special. Um, when I've died it down, like what you saw in the starting soon screen, that seemed to impress you. That's that's 185 pounds, which is not very big. Um, but yeah, you can get real lean by just dieting properly and working hard in the gym. So don't let uh, don't let some sort of focus or fixation on performance enhancing drug use sort of keep you, or this idea that it's so prevalent in social media, which it may be. Don't let that keep you from trying to put it work and make progress, man. For me, it's just a love of the game, dude. I just love training, so I do it a lot, and I do try to get better at it over time, and the consistency combined with the passion and effort hopefully results in some, some progress over time, but I assure you that my physique is one, nothing special, two, completely naturally attainable, three, completely naturally attained by me, so. I understand that uh, there, is a lot of, there is a lot of that kind of stuff out there to to confuse you or to sort of influence what you think is possible naturally, but uh, you can take 100% confidence that what I've done is achieved naturally, so. But, you know, that's what happens when you, when you train hard for a long time and love it and try to get better, you know? So, but if, if it's the leanness in particular that really impresses you, that's just diet. Definitely, take, definitely you know, take some effort to stick to that kind of diet and still train hard during that diet, but uh, the amount of muscle mass that I've built over this time is nothing exceptional. My strength is nothing exceptional, so. Just about putting the work, man. But like I said, you can definitely do it. If that's something that you want to do. But what we're gonna be doing today is a little bit more of that. We're gonna be doing some arms. Now, I've already been up for a while today. But I think that we can uh, pull ourselves together, sip on this little pre-workout a little bit, and then pump it. See how it goes. See how it goes. Well, good morning, guys. You don't have a hook because your exercise your back. Uh, pull up bar is great. Yeah, pull up bar is fantastic. That, that's that's equipment to exercise your back. Anyone else what bis stats for arms ATM for uh, PvP? I'd say verse haste mastery for PVE. I would say haste crit mastery. But I'm getting some some reports that if you're Venthyr, crit is actually more valuable than haste. But you want about 20% haste at least, I'd say. Yeah. Comes in a more your macros. Is that what you mean? My macros? Yeah, exclamation mark macros. I'll link you that. I want to I make a video about like macros in general, but um, right now it's just like if you learn how to write a macro, you're good. But I can actually like that's a really old video, but it teaches you how to write a macro, and that's pretty much all you need to know is the basics. Um, but I can uh, I can show you some other cool little macro things. In the video soon. Yep. Food macros. We're starting to talk about wow, but uh, yeah, exclamation mark nutrition is a great place to check that out for sure. And Alexarian, thanks for the 46 months, dude. You have a great day as well. We're about to get warmed up and get to it. Oh. Alex says, okay, I guess. All right. That's good for you to know. Good to know if in case you were concerned. Because the thing is, I, mean, I compete in bodybuilding, but at the very basis of it all, I just love training. And my goals in bodybuilding um, are, like I said, motivated by love of the game, and I want to do well in competition, but I compete in drug tested natural competition. So, as a natural athlete, it is my expectation that my competition in a natural show will also be natural, so that's fine. I'm not necessarily trying to make my, my living off of competing in bodybuilding and having that experience. So there's no reason for me to sacrifice my health for short-term gains, you know what I mean? Yep. Yep. Oh, I may as well just keep pumping and enjoying the, enjoying the ride. 
The Vital Seamless t-shirts sick, they are. So are the, uh, I think my favorite actually, the Geo. The Geo Seamless are great. I'm wearing one right now on a hoodie. I think these are okay. They're all right. Oh, man, I'm feeling my traps from yesterday. We actually did some work. It's good. Then you get short my pull-ups. So what you can do is you can, you can, but under control, you can jump up a little bit and slowly lower yourself down. Do it under control, though. Because if you're doing like a, I don't know if you're doing a pull-up on like one of those pull-up things that you put on a door hey, stand, but I, just, I mean, I don't know how often they actually fall down, but you see like a lot of videos of them falling down, so just be careful. But yeah, you, you jump up, like you're on the ground, you jump up, and then you slowly lower yourself down with control with your back muscles. And then you, then you jump up again and slowly lower yourself down. Jump up, slowly lower yourself down. You can build some back muscle doing that, doing sets of that. Back and arms and just pull up muscle in general. I gotta have to get started. Ugh. Oh, I gotta get started too though, man. I gotta wake up a little bit. I've already been up for like, you know, do, doing like two and a half hours of work this morning. <laughs> doing YouTube stuff, business stuff, Twitch stuff, and knocking out my mod dailies before reset, so. <laughs> been up and at it a little while already, so. Gotta make sure we put some effort into this training session and then uh, get onto the games and eat a little bit. Yep. Yeah. Trying to be effective and productive. We got a lot of things going on these days. This, and this morning is not an uncommon for most mornings, so it's just how it goes. There's, there's still left uh, a lot of things left to be done. A lot of things yet to be done. Yep. I have not, Alex. No, I haven't really been keeping up. Are you pretty into the fitness scene? Is that something that you follow closely? I think for me, we're doing our training every day, but I think I've been keeping up more with the game side of things, or the game side of things in the games. Right, keeping up with WoW mostly. Trying to. But there's also another part of it where I haven't really been, not to be like rude, but I haven't really been paying much attention to what other people are doing. I've just kind of been focusing on uh, a lot of our community and our content right now while there's just so much going on so you don't get overwhelmed, right? Just kind of doing my thing and, and trying to do a good job at that. So I haven't really been doing a whole lot of checking what other people are up to, admittedly. Not because I don't care, it's just we got a lot going on and it's, it's good to have the focus be there for right now. But yeah, if, if, there's, if, that, if that particular guy is winning some shows, good for him, man, that's great. Always good to get the W's in your competitions. Always good to get the W, that feels great. Oh, man, we put in some work on that back yesterday, I can feel it, that's good. Powered through a little bit with some of the heavy, uh, the heavy x bar dead. So we gotta see if we can get some arm pumpage today. Some arm pumpage. Ah. I think we can do it though. Ah. Let's go get it and hit it. Mm. Thing is, I have like, I have like such a big backlog of things I want to post on YouTube, and we keep uh, cre creating more stuff too. But yeah, there's just a big backlog. It's tough. You feel pain in your collarbone when doing bench press? You're you're probably uh, the main issue usually is you're you're probably up here with your bench, right? Like your shoulders are forward and really high, and so like you feel like down up here. What you want to do is get your shoulders back and down, and you're. Your chest out front and your your lats engaged back here, so the so the, the tension is more on your chest instead of up here, right down here. Boom, boom. You can practice that with push-ups. Yeah, that's what I'd say. Look tired? Might be a little bit. I mean, we're gonna power through. Gotta wake up a little bit. It's, it's, it is still, I mean, we've been up for, you know, 
three, three and a half hours already. Working already two, two and a half hours. Well, sorry, two and a half, three hours already. Already working, so. Been up for a little while, but it's only 7.30. Haven't gotten our morning workout in yet, so, you know, got some work to do. Oh, man. Yes, yeah, so you said that yesterday, Doink. Yep. Mm. Oh, same pants as yesterday, as a matter of fact. Oh. Let me count yep. He is indeed. Well, I've been up for three and a half hours, but I'd say that we've gotten two and a half or three hours of work done so far. <laughs> The, uh, I believe it's the critical hoodie. You can type exclamation mark Gymshark, I got you. You can check it out on the website. My alarm is set for 4 a.m. these days. <laughs> Usually out of bed, you know, hopefully 4.15. Roll around a little bit, and maybe get downstairs and get ready to work around 4.30. Ideally. I'm doing most of my workouts four, uh, twice a week, yeah. It's like a four day rotation, so it's about twice a week. With, uh, with chest, back, arms and shoulders, legs, repeat. Just kind of just keep rotating through those workouts. But I do give arms and shoulders their own days, I think they need it. Yeah, it's kind of a fun workout to get in here and just pump it. But yeah, recently I've, I've felt a lot better getting up early and going to bed early too. I feel it, Reggie. I feel I'm about it. I have, I have his, I have his mama mentality book on my nightstand right next to me. So, yep. You can't go to bed before ten. Try to get up at four and kick ass all day. That might help you. Yep. How do we get Jim Shark sponsoring? Uh, we, they reached out. You know, they reached out and wanted to work together. Which is a dream, you know. Gymshark is a huge brand in the fitness realm, the bodybuilding realm in particular, and uh, they wanted to work together promoting their uh, their Black Friday sale in particular. And I think we had a lot of fun with that. I think we had some success with that. So I, uh, I think we're both interested in working together long term as well. I don't have a PS5, no. Ugh. But yeah, I get up early just because it helps me be effective. Archer goes to bed around, you know. 8, hopefully he's asleep around 8.30, and I don't mind getting up early. I feel like getting up early to, and going to bed early to me right now feels better than staying up late and sleeping in late, so, yep. Oh. Yep. Good, Reg, I'm glad that you are enjoying it, man. Not a surprise, but I'm glad. They are awesome. Are you kind of Twitch fitness influencer? Uh, I mean, uh, fitness content is one of the types of content I, I uh, create. I don't know if I really like, like I understand the word influencer, I just don't know if that's really like, how I think of myself, but I'm gonna guess. That was okay. I've been, you know, the games and gains is our brand, and it's been, the games and gains have been part of my life for a long, long time, so. 
continuing to create content about my adventures in training, adventures in gaming. This kind of makes sense, so. Do it, Shadow. Do it. And Jim, that's a T3 for 18 months, man. Thank you so much, dude. And welcome back, man. Very glad to have you, dude. Shouldn't be too bad for you, huh? These aren't too tough. Let's start kind of a little warm-up rotation here. Shouldn't be too bad. Ugh. You need to get warmed up, though. But yeah, definitely great for the work on Gymshark and a lot of other fantastic companies, too, right? Got our Origin PC and Corsair sponsors, which is just huge. Amazing sponsors for our gaming. We've got to continue our relationship with Whoop, which is our effort and recovery tracker. Get to work with bodybuilding.com. That's our place to get our supplements. Oh! Mm. Doing more. The gym chart would be great. Pretty fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Oh. Mountain climbers? I don't think so. You got this, Warlock. You got this, man. You got this. Juice Gang Squad? Is that like an actual thing? Or are you just saying, like, is that how they identify themselves as Juice Gang Squad? I wasn't aware of that. Oh. But yeah, I mean, I think that Gymshark has definitely made a really smart decision in terms of doing a lot of their promotion through social media and popular content creators for fitness, right? And like I said, I'm honored and grateful that they want to work together with us and our community here on Switch. Pretty awesome. But yeah, we usually start our day every day in the gym, and then every weekday we're playing, you know, we're playing our, our games uh, until 5 p.m., so that's how we do it, man. That's how we do it. Oh. I, I can start, the gym stream starts around 7. I wouldn't mind starting it a little bit earlier. But like I said, we got a lot of stuff going on today, so. In your team a little bit later. But yeah, getting started around like 6 is great. But, have you switched your stuff today? All good. All good. Oh. oh man, I'd be pretty confused, Lonely Rogue. <laughs> be pretty confused. Yep. 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 Whew. Absolutely, we're all keep it up. Keep it up. Yep. Whew. Oh man. Oh, DM me the total? Jamin, you've been in the chat long enough to know that there's an exclamation mark stats command, right? Oh. Mm. You got a small beer belly, but I want to bulk over the winter. Should you cut first and bulk? I would say probably, yeah. Exclamation mark stats, Jamin, here. Yeah, I've been doing a little bit of a mini cut myself. You don't want to know, Jamin? There you go. Somebody's gonna, somebody's gonna hit you with it. There you go. Oh. Yeah, I think a lot of people just tune out the bots eventually, but there's a lot of information on there for you. What's the name of that thing? Yeah, it's just like a cable machine or a functional trainer, I've heard it called. Something like that, right? But yeah, exclamation mark stats, I'll link that for you. Boy. The PRs are really nothing special, it's just the most known in training. Yeah. Boy. Okay, Alex. Thanks for the heads up. But yeah, everybody that we've worked with the Gymshark so far has been fantastic, yep. Mm. 
You better do 145? Maybe right now, but if you keep working on it, you just keep building it up. Just keep working, man. You got this. I'm not buying that, Jamin. <laughs> That's all right. You're good. Now you know. Now you know. All kinds of commands. All right, let's get warmed up. Let's get it. teams <laughs> we've we've definitely uh, had a lot of people buy rogue after watching our stream so we'd love to make that partnership a little bit more formal that'd be great that'd be fantastic here's our business email if you need to pass along a contact that'd be amazing like I said we, we're training in here every day for the past three years and using rogue stuff so yep 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 absolutely Oh, that'd be great. Mm. Uh, it's, uh, it's pretty chilly, but we're warming up in the gym right now. Exclamation mark stats there, Alex. I'll get all that stuff for you. How about do I deload? Just pretty much whenever I need to. But it's not usually, you know, super often. Yep. What if I play so you can pay it for me? <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Oh, man. Oh, be fun. But yeah, my rack, my, my dumbbells, my weight bench, my uh, safety squat bar, my hex bar are all from Rogue. Ugh. So, like I said, oh, and my bench. We've got a lot of stuff from there and, and all those bumpers. Ugh. So we definitely have got lots of Rogue and have enjoyed it. Best way to lose fat on chest and belly is get your diet right. Training is great, but it doesn't make you burn fat necessarily. You need to be in a deficit of calories. But building chest muscle can help you achieve the physique that you want to. But yep. X makes more fat loss, man. Check that out. Don't need to start it. But it's about diet and discipline, dedication, and consistency, man. Adherence. Just gotta stick to your diet, stick to your deficit, and that fat will slowly come off, but you're gonna need to commit for the long haul, man. But if you dig in and just stay consistent every day, it'll happen. So it works, and if it's not happening, then you need to adjust, right? But that's how it works. sponsored by them, <laughs> but that'd be amazing. That'd be great. So eat less of the sugar and stuff? No, watch the video that I told you to watch. Begin listening now. Type in exclamation mark fat loss and watch that video. 
Um, uh, allow me to help you. But you gotta listen up. And not default to things that you've heard. Right? I got you. We can do this. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Well, Jamin, don't ignore him, because then you might miss information that is helpful to you. Or you might miss the opportunity to direct other people to information that could be helpful to them, too. So, it's part of the fun, man. We're a source of information for people, and happy to put them in contact with it. And sometimes those, uh, those commands help do that quickly. Yeah. Oh. Oh. What shoes do I squat in? I just squat in uh, wrestling shoes, just flat. I don't have a, uh, raised heel right now. Uh, yeah, man, it's, it's from Gymshark. It's about to get sweaty in a second, but it's one of the, one of the really nice Gymshark hoodies. Oh, that, that, that just wasn't a command. It's a, there's an S at the end, Warlock, is what you're missing. There you go. bodybuilding.com protein or just muscle milk is good too thanks Reggie Reggie's on it thank you thank you what do you think about three days a week full body workout uh, could be a start could be fun three days a week working out is not enough for me right now I like to make the workouts a daily activity kind of help me feel good and do what I want to do why well, is just not enough work for me? I like to be in the gym every day. So, I only train three days a week. Not enough for me personally. So when you ask me, what do I think about it? What do you mean? Like, what do I think about it for me? What do I think about it for you? Because <laughs> it, it could be a start. It could be a start. What do you think about it? I don't do cardio uh, very often right now. I don't mind doing cardio, I just, I don't currently make time for it, is the thing. Dude, Chop's going up to get to the Cobra is an unskilled. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, my cardio comes from 10 by 10 squats. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't mind doing more cardio, it's just not something I'm making time for currently. And Chops are going to build you, but thank you, Chops. Going with the gifties this morning, as well as powering us up, man. Thank you, dude. And hooking up Catagon, getting them going. Thank you, dude. Pumping the gifties this morning. Pumping. Thank you, dude. Ugh. Ugh. Let's get these arms and shoulders warmed up. Mm. What's up, Sephron? Thanks for the prime, man. Oh, yeah, dude. You know it, man. You know it. Got to put a not working the games and games, man. You know it. You know it. Uh. <laughs> okay, Jamie, okay, thanks, man. How to get a big neck so it appear I have no neck. <laughs> I mean, if you want a particular muscle group to grow, you can probably train it directly. So you can do direct neck work. Could be fun for you. <sighs> like neck bridges might be kind of fun. Something that you can do at home. You can kind of work on that. It's like a wrestling thing. Oh, that could beef up your neck, though. I, I don't do a lot of direct neck work myself, but you certainly could. If that was one of your goals, you could do it.
Could Dillas make your neck bigger? They could, yeah, they could. I made legendary gloves for the bigger stats in the haste verse. You can you can buy haste verse bracers, but um, yeah. You can't buy haste verse gloves. You're saying, okay, dude, good luck. See you next time. Stay healthy. If not, Natty. Well, I don't I don't know how many times I've told you that we are and always have been and always will be Natty. So, I'm not sure to tell you. <laughs> Besides that, you seem to hear what I'm saying, but be confused by a completely natural amount of gains, so, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Without being rude, maybe you should spend a little bit less time on Instagram and more time training and eating and resting. You know what I mean? <laughs> as long as you're healthy, who cares? I mean, I care. It's important to me to stay healthy for my family. And it's one of those things that is important to me. Yep. That was using GH at 70? Right, so that's one of those situations where I intend to stay natural, but if at some point later on in my life, my body needs help producing hormones that are essential for your health, then maybe I'll look into that. But that's different than doing a bunch of anabolic steroids, right? But that's not part of my plan, but it's not something that I'm against if I need that later on. But I'm 30 years old. I don't, I think I'm doing just fine, right? My dad's still kicking ass in the gym at 65, almost, so. He's doing his thing, right? Yep. I think I'm all right. I think I'm all right. Yeah, I think I'm all right. It's it's super, it's, it's it would be, well I should say it's this. If, if you actually know what you're talking about, it's like super obvious that I'm natural. I would not look like this if I was on the, if I was on the juice. I weigh around 205 right now, I'd probably be at least 245. If not 255 if I was on drugs, right? Let's just be honest with ourselves. Now, that would come with a variety of health complications in the moment and probably long term that I have no interest in being part of. So, I'm good. I'm good. But I can also understand if a young person is spending a lot of time on social media and is really sort of inundated with this natty or not constant discussion, you know, shown these physiques that are enhanced and it confuses their ability or their understanding of people's ability to build muscle naturally. I understand, but it is what it is. If you use TRT to push yourself to the upper end of normal, it is an advantage, it is, yeah, but you're also not natural at that point, right? Yeah. Ugh. No, I don't think so, I don't, I don't think it'd be worth it, all right, no. Mm. Thanks, Brock, for the four months, man. Welcome back, dude, thank you. Ugh. Uh, man. Uh, if you don't mind, Matut, that's probably a good question for uh, Google, right? Yeah. Rather than this. There we go. I'll tell you what feels amazing is getting up early, getting into the gym every day, and hitting your calories in your sleep. That feels amazing. That'll make your body feel good and keep your keep your uh, your hormones in a good spot if you're otherwise healthy, right? Yeah, th these cars are great. But they are on a back order currently, so I gotta be careful when I tell you guys about it and everybody buys it all out. <laughs> I gotta be careful. <laughs> Feeling up gym, absolutely, I'm very grateful for it. Very grateful for the gym, but you know, training has been something I'm passionate about for my whole life pretty much, and I've always dreamed of having a home gym, so we're able to work hard, save up, make it happen, you know? Yep. Ugh. Ugh. But I've been feeling really good, even in a deficit, I've been feeling pretty good. I think it has a lot to do with the sleep and the consistency, right, and the rhythm. I know, man, everybody, everything's on back order after I made my supplements video about it. 
<laughs> Are you using our link when you order from bodybuilding.com, Jamin? Think it's working? Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully. That's no good, Tenko. That's no good. Hopefully. Hopefully so. Maybe not. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I bet you do, Builder. I bet you do. I hope that greeting agrees with you. Oh man. Let's keep it going. Ugh. Gotta get warmed up now. Oh. Woo. Oh, I know my hair is definitely as thinned out as I got older, but that's completely expected if you look at uh, my mom's dad, which is where you get like your, whether you lose your hair or not, Gene, I believe. So I have my dad's hair pattern and my grandpa's like uh, thinness up top, so it's pretty expected. That's just part of growing up for some people, man. Oh, man. So yeah, my hair definitely has thinned out as I've gotten older, but like I said, that's just completely expected. But I like the I like the buzz and beard combo. It looks good. Oh, nice. Are you tracking your intake at all for your uh, for your diet right there? Yep. Yeah. Whew. Oh my goodness. Oh. Now, I'm feeling the best I have in a long time right now. This would be been such a good rhythm. And the recovery has been really nice, but this was sleep, getting up early. And going to sleep early and getting good sleep, that's been huge. Combined with tightening my diet up and still training hard. Now some mornings in a deficit I feel a little tired. That's because I'm still training fast after being up for three hours already. So, it's always maximum strength. I've been feeling really good though. That's nice. We've been working hard too, so. Shout out to our sponsor, Whoop, for helping us stay balanced in the effort of recovery and just being, being mindful of all that. something that takes no effort and just have it make them super like be better and feel better right but you can have a, a similar feeling from just being consistent and doing the work and being disciplined right but you're not just taking something that just makes it all better because that kind of stuff comes at a cost you hear that story told for generations forever you know <laughs> you hear it all the time the quick zero effort solution often doesn't work, and if it does, it doesn't work for long, and it costs, right? And Bob, thanks for the Prime and Big Flex for you, appreciate it. People want that though, right? They imagine that that'd be awesome. And I, I'm more of a fan of putting in the work as best I can and having it be, you know, still really good, it just takes more work. And like I said, right now, I've been feeling the best I have in a long time which is really cool. But I would say it's as a result of effort, you know, and consistency and discipline, which ain't easy, but once you get in the, in the rhythm, you get better at it, so that's good. That's good. Except booty snacks. Oh, man. But yeah, I'm glad that, uh, that we're in a good spot right now. Uh, finishing up that rank one push has definitely made us Pretty low stress and feeling good. Yep. We'll see you next time, Alex. We'll be here every morning. So it's no surprise that we're making some gains eventually, right? We're putting in the work every day with the training and the diet and the rest. If you don't check in very often, it might catch you off guard, but it shouldn't. We're here every day grinding away. This sounds gonna be dumb. Glad to have you, man. Whew. 
Oh man. Sounds good to me. Get some reps in for you. Hit some shoves in, in between study breaks. You got this, man. Hit some shoves. Hit that blood flow. Keep your brain fresh. <clears throat> Whew. Oh. Yep. <sighs> mm. Yeah, big bandits. It's just grind away. What's up, Flo? Thanks for the nine months, man. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Oof. Uh. Yeah, I don't think my style is all that glamorous, Katagon, just about the more grind than glamour, right? <laughs> but I like it like that. I think that aligns with who I am. Uh, so it works out just fine. It's genuine, you know? Mm, no worries, booty snacks. Have fun, man. Uh. Fortunately, it's, it's still allowing us to succeed, too. Just infusing some passion and creativity in what we do, for sure, but put in the consistent effort, you know? Always looking to find ways to be better. I think the must-have is a lot more to do with what you want to do in your gym and the kind of training you want to be able to do, right? Keep grinding, Adam. Keep working on that form. Keep eating if you're trying to get stronger. You got this. My bench is a lot, sort of, in terms of scale, a lot better than my squat. So, I'm with you. But we're working on that squat, too. Getting some reps and laying some foundation right now. I think when it's time for the 15, things are getting a little too easy. Could, could finish that set, but I'm just gonna go ahead and pump it. Bump it and pump it. It keeps his elbows inward and you outward. How do you bench? I'd say probably somewhere in between. Like you want to get your elbows in, but not necessarily like this. But you want them to come in so you can brace your triceps against your lats. Having your elbows all the way out to the side is probably not good. The smallest weapon you usually go on arms? I don't know. I think eight to 12 is usually pretty good. But for this kind of thing, I'll do, I'll do more than that. You know, 12 to 15, 20 maybe. But if anything, you maybe you maybe bring your elbows in on the way down and flare on the way up. Oh no, you're definitely not going to be as strong as not eating a surplus. Yeah, definitely not. Definitely not. Oh. Oosh. What are you talking about, Tenpu? I, I must have missed something. Oh, I see what you're talking about. I see, I see. Right, so for anything, for a bench, you're gonna come down, coiled up, and then once the weight gets moving, you can flare out a little bit. But you wanna stay in position, right? But yeah, you don't want to be out here, and I don't think this is effective. So it's a little bit of both. Sure, bring things down and coil up, and then bang, and flare out a little bit when you press. So maybe a little bit of both. Somewhere in between. But you really want your chest out too, right? That might be more important than just elbow positions. That all kind of comes together. <clears throat> but yeah, you'll notice that my, my arm training, like I was mentioning, was it's usually pretty high rep. But 8 to 12 is probably the, the lowest rep range I go for arms generally.
Two seconds to go pee, and we'll keep pumping, all right? BRB. Let's keep hitting it. BRB. We'll get that belt on and start pumping. Let's go.
Uh, a lot of raises. You can do raises to the side, front, rear delt, all that. Oh. Can you not hear the music there? X? I also have music in my headphones too. Are you not hearing the tunes? They're in the background? I could turn them up a little bit if I need to. But you're quiet for you. Whew. I mean, I can hear that in, in a speaker right here too. I got both. It's pretty good, good. Good, good. Gotta make sure we get some rear delt skis. What's the real? What's the portal to the gains? Oh. next time. Uh. 
Yep, exclamation mark add-ons to get you the bad ones. Woo! <sighs> Plenty more videos on the YouTube channel. YouTube channel's pumping right now. We put a lot of work on YouTube. And I'm glad that it's going good right now. That's what you want. You want it to be pumping. <sighs> That's someone supposed to rest that leveling series too. We're almost done with that one. Almost done. And we just keep letting that flow. Dungeon's gonna do some PvP today. Should be really fun doing PvP today. Make sure you subscribe over there too. Daily videos for there as well. Mostly just uh, rice, veggies, and lean protein. It's the basics, <laughs> but it's working. It's working. Yeah, man. Yeah, we created a new channel just for the games called Busier Games. Figured that'd be fun and hopefully helpful to some people. And it just allows me to create more content than I want to. You know?
you can type exclamation mark 2018 yet you didn't see like a, a bodybuilding transformation video. That'll take you through my 2018 competitive season. It's probably my best shape yet in terms of competition. We're gonna try to be better than that next time. Maybe we won't compete until 2022. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see. Whew. No, the cleanses are stupid, Jenny. <laughs> Long-term dietary changes are, I would say, are good, but a cleanse is stupid. I'm doing a small mini cut right now, Lost Edge. A small mini cut at the moment, which is going good. Little, little tiny mini cut, just to tighten up and feel a little bit better. And kind of prepare myself for the next phase of the bulk, so I'm not bulking on top of kind of relatively high body fat already. But I feel really good in the mini cut right now, so I'm happy with how it's feeling and how it's going. But yeah, little mini cut, but the, lo the long term goal is definitely building muscle. Probably not build a lot of muscle right now in a deficit, but you know, like I said, we're just taking some time to tighten up a little before the next phase of the gains. Yep. Yep, use your, use your discipline. Build that skill set of discipline. Is it cold? Yeah, it's, it's winter time, so it's cold in the morning, yep. Yep. Fast get there to a max? I don't recommend that, no. Yep. Whew. I like the beer? I like it. And everybody flips out if I shave, so. But I like the beer, it's a good look. Yep. Nice, talent, nice. Yep. You know it, man. Getting them gains, and you know how it is. Well, Thursday morning gains. Arms and shoulder pumpage. Feels good. Glad to hear things are on track with you too, man. I think Jenny likes the scruff the most, but she also understands that the chat will freak out if I uh, shave. The beard is definitely not where my power is stored, no. The beard is irrelevant to my power. If anything, I unleash my true power when I shave. But. It just is what it is. Oh, I like, I like the beard just fine, but I also like no beard just fine. Oh. Here we go. Oh, yeah, the beard is actually like weighted clothing. You, you, you use it to train and then you unleash your true power when it's time to compete. Exactly, Talon, exactly. You're fine, Dunk. It is what it is. 
Uh, I like it, but yeah, it's been a fun journey so far. I think we have a lot of room for improvement, but so far so good. Don't you think? So far so good. Um, I think it's a it's a team effort. Me, Jenny, and our management company, Jamin. Yeah. Right, so remember that management company that we help run? They, we also make use of their services. So yeah, it's a it's a team effort. Yeah. We are management company side quest media is great. They are great. About helping create and manage opportunities for us. Thanks, Dylan, for hooking them up, man. But no, we have a nanny so that Jenny can, you know, get some work done during the day, but, you know, she definitely does spend a lot of time with Archer, too, so she's, she's super mom right now, for sure. Is it Lois? I think so. I mean, you'll be boosted to BFA, not to Shadowlands, like, you'll be boosted to start Shadowlands, not to be boosted to max Shadowlands. But yeah, I bet you would. You probably get all the perks. Better pump these shoties, these. Yeah, I fit the yeah, man. Sounds like a lot of seed for doesn't it, Yeti? Sounds good. And Corona, thanks for the prime, man. Big flex for you. I'm excited to try Armin and BG today. I'm excited. Whew. Should be pretty pumper, I think. Should be pretty pumper. Yeah, exclamation mark armor. You should think about armor, yeah. Yeah, legendary choice is tough, but I went with uh, unhinged. I think that'd be pretty fun. It won't stack, but it'll probably refresh it. I would say at least seven or eight hours, Ken. Ideally, yep. You're gonna struggle with the baby though, yeah, for sure. I feel ya. I feel ya. But yeah, seven or eight hours would be great, but that's tough for the baby, I understand. I definitely understand. <laughs>
you do the front press. Yeah, I'm about to. Yep. That's one of the rotation exercises. Yep. How heavy those? Those are just 30 pounds. Just, just for pumpers. But there's a lot of good legendaries, man. There's a lot of good ones. You can do it? Yeah. That's the plan. We can try to do one more dungeon to get a cloak. Maybe then we'll do PP after probably. See if I can get a, a purple cloak. It's yeah, probably not that big of a deal, but might be kind of nice. Might be kind of nice. We'll see. Just to be a full epic. Besides trinkets, warrior, because we're gonna do the blue PP trinkets, right? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it should be a fun PvP day. Finally put this uh, night face shockwave to the test in PvP, huh?
when Archer is ready to go night night, he says, he says, uh, he does like a little snore. He goes, me, 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 me. We got that from a book. And so whenever he's tired, he goes, me, 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 me. It's really cute. Yeah, it's a, a pioneer belt. Close. Say, aren't you ready to go Mimi's? You go, Pow. Me, 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 me. So, okay, baby, come on. <laughs> Grabs a little binky, cuddles up. Good boy. Uh. All right. Mm. Second round of carbs going in. Let's pump this workout. It's already almost nine. We're going to be in here for a little while. Probably saw the gym, the gaming chair around 10 today. We'll see. Mm. We'll see. We got some work to do. Yes. 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 Not done yet. Got more work to do. Probably around 10, I'd say. But that gives us plenty of time to keep pumping. Man. Trying to put some effort into this. This uh, arm and shoulder days. What's up, Bob? What? What's up, sup? Hmm. Woo! For this one, the pigeons, that sounds like a lot of fun. That's another reason to have it on hand, it just works for Fury PVE. I don't remember very long, but that was a good investment, huh? Some people might slip by and kill Sandy, but people have been disqualified in, in both of the shows that I've done that were tested. So, maybe, who knows, but like I said, may as well compete in a show where you're supposed to be natural if you're natural, I feel like. For me, at least. For me. I think some natural athletes can definitely be competitive in untested shows, but to me, I just, just makes sense. I think it's a good fit for me to compete in national shows. Um, recommended Federation. So I competed in Muscle Mania. There's also like the um, INVFF, this is the International National Bodybuilding Federation, something like that. I think those are two good ones. Those are the ones I'd be interested in. But like I said, I, could, I just, I found a Muscle Mania show that was really convenient to do, and I did it, and I won the whole show, so I, now I'm a pro. <laughs> so that's cool. <sighs> but those are, those are two good ones.
How long does a prep last for me? Um, I probably want, depending on how on how uh, much weight I have to lose. I think like around five months is good. It could be shorter if I don't need to lose as much. It could be longer if I need to lose more. And that's going into a show. And usually my season, I'll try to do a few shows, so it can last a while. But yeah, we'll see. Usually about four. I would say this next one probably gonna be about five months, if not four months. Hopefully, we want to go for a little sharper coming into it. So we'll see. You slow cut then? Yeah, I do. I, I die pretty slowly. Yeah. Ever done marathons or pass before? Um, not competitively, but I certainly have run those distances. Not a marathon. But I've run about, you know, 22, 23 miles as part of a training run. Because I was a distance runner back in high school and college, so I certainly have experience with that. Uh, but that's not what I'm doing right now. Uh, we might get strong enough to do PRs again. But right now we're definitely trying to build. Here we go. But yeah, that was just like a, just a normal like long run. That was a pretty long run, but this is just a normal training run. I've done a couple of those. Those low twenties. Left shoulder hurt? No, but it's uh, it's weird. It definitely, my left arm is weird. I'm just trying to, trying to press it. That's weird. What do you do with slight pain discomfort when lifting heavy weights? I mean, just let it rest, I guess. Gotta let it rest, it happens. It can happen. You gotta let it rest. It could also be just part of the camera angle, but yeah. Said leg shoulders in the living room, Jim. Nice way to work. Whew. I mean, Lucy, you gotta be careful if, if you got an injured muscle group, but I mean, I feel like you're the legs will eventually catch up to each other. You can show your other legs some special love if you want, but like, like giving it more reps, but I bet it'll catch up. Did first 10 real push ups for the first time 10 years. Nice, he busted them out. 
I built this home gym a couple years ago. Equipment is definitely much more scarce right now. Fanatics. That's tough. That's tough. Oh. You can, so if you're super new to lifting, you can build muscle and burn, burn body fat at the same time. What I would tell you to do is eat in a caloric deficit and train like an animal. So that's what's important. Yeah. You should definitely train hard within your capabilities, of course. Like, you know, you gotta start from where you're at and build, but eat in a deficit to lose fat and train hard. Yeah. Whew. That's what I'd say. Go watch that video real quick. But you don't need to like wait to work out. If you want to lose body fat, then eat in a deficit, but train hard, and no matter what, right? 
It's my, that's, that's what that video is for. You consume fewer calories than you use. It's a four and a half minute video, it'll, it'll break down the basics. So I think you track your intake, understand your macros and calories, have an idea of how much you want to eat, stick to that, and adjust as necessary, right? That's why I link the video, because it'll help, uh, help you out with the basics. Yep. How's it going up? Oh, I don't know. I haven't been keeping an eye on it. Uh, we bought it and haven't really looked, back, looked at the pricing since then. But maybe, I'm not sure. Kind of keeps up to date better than when the app is running on the background. I don't think it really matters. I think I think it, you can pull up the app and, and it'll it'll be fine because the information is stored on your thing anyway, and then it just sends it to your the app. Yep. Oh. Exclamation mark add-ons there, Renz. What's the video about? Yep, if you're trying to gain weight, you eat in a small surplus. Yep. You're just gonna need to eat more calories than you use, so you can build. Yep. That's a command that you can press, friends. Oof. And you type in the chat. Exclamation mark add-ons. That'll link you the video. I'll, I'll make a new one for you too, for Shadowlands. Even though the add-ons are probably very similar, I can still make another video for you. Just for fun. All kinds of fun commands. Watch the video, nice, thanks. Appreciate it. Good. Yeah, Guardian is good. I like corn as well, Q-U-O-R-N. I still have some, uh, some dairy products, like my whey protein, and I still have, the, so there's like a little bit of egg in some of the corn. You can get vegan corn, but yeah. You get the crazy burner shoulder, that's good. You have good mind muscle connection with your shoulders, that's nice. Uh, I think I need to get better connection with my shoulders. We're, we're working on it. We're working on it. Uh,
You don't always have to go there, but sometimes you do. <clears throat> but we do need to go to the land of the blaster. Go to the blaster land. Trying to pump a little bit. The land of the blaster. Ugh. Thanks for your soul. And Taco, thanks for the two months. Welcome back. Thank you, thank you. I'm going to blast them, yep. Contracting the biceps. This is a. Uh, these are thirties. Yeah. So I like to. The dark place I understand, and use that suit sometimes. But some of my favorite ones right now aren't necessarily dark places. It's like heroic places. So instead of you do this lift or your family dies, it's like. You're, you are the one that the, that Earth has chosen to battle sell. <laughs> and so when you step under that squat rack, you have to do 10 reps to defeat Cell. And everybody is counting on you, but also believing in you. And so I feel like that's a more empowering place rather than just the uh, adrenaline of peril. Right? Yep. That's okay, Zink, no worries, no worries. Not a problem. I'm glad that you're back. Yep. Glad you're back. Yeah, you seemed a little bit, uh, you seemed a little bit uh, upset about the way I was interacting with that one guy. And I didn't necessarily want to get into it at the time, but that's a person who had been in the chat for uh, quite a long time and was consistently negative. Consistently, like, um, trying to bring people down, include me, one thing, and other people in general too. So it was much less about that specific situation and more about a pattern of behavior that needed to stop. It didn't stop, so we had to let it go, right? So it's all good, all good, all good. But yeah, if I was going to train twice a day, what I'd probably do is compound movements in the in the morning, and I'd come back and do like some pumps in the evening. There we go. But yeah, it's all right. Oh. Mm. But yeah, heroic rather than just like in mortal danger and peril. Like you can defeat Cell, so just, it's just gonna be tough, yep. That's all good, Sin. I'm glad that you came back. I'm glad that you decided to pop back in and get another, get another feel for the channel. Uh, no worries. Unless it was an arms and shoulder day, in which case maybe I would do 
some extra bench press or push-ups or pull-ups or even leg isolation, right? The OHP barbells are making my elbows mad, so I haven't been doing it. But yeah, I mean, I, I train twice a day, every day for eight months when I was getting ready to compete for my 2018 competitive season. So saying that you can't do it is kind of just like, but I, you know, like I said, you don't need to get caught up in the content of that particular discussion because it wasn't about the content of the discussion, you know? It was about being constantly negative and trying to bring people down in like a, a snide way. And there's just no place for that. Especially after it's addressed directly and then it continues. So it's like, okay. But yeah, if you're curious about that particular thing of training twice a day, yeah, you just your hard training in the morning and your fun pumpers in the nighttime. Yeah. Woo. Uh, yeah, I don't do a lot of full body. I, I, I do split my training like this right now. I think I start working on Monday. Start working out today. What time is it? <laughs> start working out today. Don't wait around. Start today. Start, start making progress now. Start building through the motions. so much dude too kind man too kind welcome Kimbler peeps We're getting ourselves some arms and shoulders what do I know it's to pull down <clears throat> so I'm trying to just adjust so that I'm not putting a lot of pressure on my elbow but I can still get activation of my tricep my elbows get a little mad when I contract from this position so if I lean forward a little bit I feel like it, it starts to get here rather than right here when I bring it back up, so I can push with my tricep without it being a lot of, just focus on just on the elbow, right? That's all, it's old. <laughs> it's an old man. So we're doing things a little different. Hey, but everybody who is, uh, everybody who is new here, you guys are uh, just in time for the kind of like last two thirds quarter of our workout where we get to slap on the arm blaster. I like to turn every day's in. <laughs> yeah, Killer, maybe, maybe we can team up on something, but yep. You'd be hearing from my copyright lawyers. <laughs> my people would be in touch. <laughs> but we could, we could probably do some kind of collab with that. That'd be fun, I bet. I bet we could. Because I think both of us are... All about that dragon army too. Mm, lots of similarities in our team. It's pretty cool. Oh, I don't use the arm blast right here, but on the uh, arms and shoulder workouts I do. Recently, but I wouldn't mind it. The laser people popping off. 
Super Saiyan 2 times 2. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you, thank you. Let's go. What kind of hotfix is that, Rowan? Let's go. Thank you, thank you, man. But yeah, I wouldn't... Night streams are very rare. Usually our stream times are from like 6 or 7 a.m. Is the, is the gym stream start? We finish the gym stream, take like a, a short break, and then fire up the gaming stream right after and go until 5 p.m. That's usually what we're doing right now. Use the arm muscle isolation, that's correct, yep. That's right. That's right. Okay, yeah, I, th I thought it was like that before, Roland. But I guess they made it even, even different, that's good. That's good. Oh! Time zone over in Cali, so it's about 9 a.m. for me right now. Yeah, we, I played Bizarre before, and I'm sure we'll do it again, yeah. Do some Warrior of Age, be hype. Be really fun. Here we go. is over and we succeeded and got rank one we're good um i can just get up earlier i can go to bed earlier and get up earlier and i think that's doing wonders for helping me combat the winter blues which sometimes hit me pretty hard so i'm actually getting up i'm going to bed at like 8 30 or 9 i'm getting up at like 4 4 30 in the morning and getting work done on the youtube business twitch side of things and then getting on the stream so Feeling pretty good on that schedule right now. Got a lot of work to do, so. But it feels good to get up and get after it earlier rather than stay up later and do it. Loving Unhinged PP, good. I'm glad that we gave you a good recommendation. Excellent. Do you heat up your, I mean, I just, you can just throw it in a, like, throw the corn in a bowl and microwave it. That's fine, from, right from the freezer. You don't want to thaw it. But what I also I think is even better is that you put it in a pan with some salt and pepper and like some onion powder and just skizzle it up. That's even better. Nine, five, six, I feel it, man. I feel it. That's good. <clears throat> so I stream my training every day here, Xenoxic, and I also have my exclamation mark games YouTube channel. So I've been on YouTube for 10 years. And um, that whole time I posted all my content in one place. But with the way that I want to create content and with the way the YouTube algorithm works, I said, all right, we're doing this. So I just made a new uh, fitness-focused YouTube channel where my, where my uh, fitness content will live from now on. Ugh. And so I have daily workouts posted on that channel along with like diet updates, supplement updates, things like that, and plenty more content on the way with new videos every day in addition to the main YouTube channel. So if you type exclamation mark games, it'll link that new channel for you. Do you do that and then reheat the microwave later? Yeah, you can you can like cook it in a pan and then, re and then microwave it later, yeah. Uh, I don't really damn know. I'm really uh, 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 I haven't really been in contact after he invited me to do those duels. But I mean it is what it is. All good. We've kind of gone on to progress and get multiple rank one titles and keep kicking butt. So a little bit different of a path, I think. You know, different different focus. All good. You got it. Well, let's keep pumping. Let's keep pumping. A little more time to get these arms rolling.
Yeah, my workouts are usually about two hours at a time, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, it was fun back in the day, Dan, but you know, times change, people change, it's all good. It's all good. We got a little bit more work to do here, and then we gotta get to work too. I think the arms and shoulders are getting there. They're getting there. Almost about where we need to be. Uh, I'm actually drinking some intra workout carbohydrates, Eddie. If you type exclamation mark subs, it'll link you a video with a quick supplement update. And what we've been doing recently for our supplementation. But there are some EAAs in the Intra workout carbs, which is nice. Because I don't usually eat before training in the morning. Just get in here and pump it. That feels good to me. Uh, subs. I'll just add an S to that. Uh, Unhinged Dragon. I actually posted a video about it this morning. If you don't check that video out, I'm on my main YouTube channel too. But yeah, we went with Unhinged. Oh yeah, we did, yep, yep, yep. Nice, that's the one. Excited to test it out in DGs today. Thanks for watching that video. I mean, even if you're not gaining weight eating fast food, still the probably doesn't feel good. So once again, I'm just, I'm, I don't hit you guys with a lot of commands right now, but there's a diet update and there's also the nutrition basics video right there. These are like uh, just required reading for the course basically, right? Like you imagine you're in college and you have to read for your class. The, then there's the basics, the fat loss video. The diet update is just if you're interested in what I'm doing at the moment. That's making me feel good. Problem gaining weight? Yeah, same thing. Fat loss is just a, video, a command that links the video about how to gain or lose weight. It's not very complicated. If you're eating a certain amount of calories consistently and you're not gaining weight on that, then you need to consistently eat more. <laughs> That's just, you know, some straightforward stuff. But yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. All right. All right. Ta. Let's keep pumpings. Oosh. We have to about your caloric intake. And if you, if you pair uh, increased caloric intake with some good progressive overload and sufficient volume in the gym and recovery, then you're going to make gains. Sometimes if you're trying to gain weight, you need to eat when you're not hungry. Just like sometimes you're trying to lose weight, you gotta not eat when you're hungry, right? 
You gotta change. You gotta knock your body out of symbiosis if you wanna change something, right? <laughs> So yeah, you don't have to eat like a whole lot more, but you have to work your, your calories slowly up as if you were gonna you know, work your, your training weight up, right? So slowly over time, we gotta increase in calories. Yep. But fortunately, you don't have to be super hungry to like eat a, a big scoop of peanut butter, right? And a big scoop of peanut butter can add, like, depending on how big of a scoop that is, you know, 300 to 500 calories to your day, right? And if you add 300 to 500 calories every day, right? That's gonna be, that's gonna equate to like a, a 2,000 to a 3,500 calorie surplus, or, or not, not surplus, sorry, but 2,000 to 3,500 calories more than what you were eating, which is a pretty big increase over a week, right? So, I, I don't recommend it to be garbage food, no. Yeah. Uh, so, your body type is a result of your habits up until now. It's not like you're doomed to be that way. Like a lot of pro bodybuilders are around your height because muscle sh looks really freaky on a just a little bit shorter frame. But the idea that you can't gain weight is is just not accurate. If you continue to do what you've always done, you might not con you might continue to be how you always have been, but it doesn't mean that you're always doomed to be that way, right? Uh. I don't recommend you eat garbage food ever. <laughs> I think if you eat nutritious food, you're gonna feel better. For sure, which will make training better. <laughs> yeah, man, if Asmund changed his habits, yeah. I, don't, I just don't know if fitness is a big priority for him right now. He's puffing in, in the content creation, that's for sure. I mean, you can build muscle if you want to, Zen. That's the thing, I mean, if you want to be relatively lean, you can be. If you want to build muscle, you can. But yeah, it comes down to your habits with your diet and your training and your sleep. Sleep is a big deal too, but I think diet is a great place to start. But if you, eat, if you eat healthy nutritious food, you're gonna feel better and train better. And then, and then there is just an amount of how many calories you need for your goals, right? Whew. Six large pieces of age maybe put you over 145? Yeah, it might. We probably also feel pretty grody. Oh, let's do some triceps. Uh. But yeah, 5'6 is a, is, a, is a height that will look really good as you gain muscle. Aesthetically, this look really, uh, it'll show nicely. Ugh. Basing your meals around veggies and lean protein is a fantastic start. 
Yep. Just gotta get your habits together. Woo. Mm. Yep, frozen veggies. Throw it in the microwave. Get some sauce on there. <laughs> but yeah, you gotta have to experiment and find things that you like. But I think you got the right idea with veggies and lean protein anchoring every meal. Gotta learn to cook. I mean, just once again, like with this right here, with this right here, this is the only thing I'm cooking is rice in a rice maker. Everything else is microwave. But I do think that those meatless pieces are really good if you put them in a pan. I just don't really care. My wife will make them in the pan. I'll eat that. But for me, I'm just microwave. Them. I don't care. Yeah, just microwave some veggies, man. It's all good. Fresh veggies are great. I don't buy. I mean, I'm a big fan of the microwave. <laughs> Uh, not too fancy to the microwave stuff. Uh, uh, uh. Want to gain weight? Get married? Have kids? Want to make no gains? Make excuses. <laughs> you wanna? You wanna make no progress? Make excuses. <laughs> uh, married with a kid? Making big gains personally. Oh, I'm doing great. Uh, that, that kid has made me better already. Maybe much more adherent to a schedule. Much more effective with my time, I think. Uh, Certainly costs you some sleep and takes some getting used to early on, but we're, we're in the group now. Uh, 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 I'm hesitant to say that I'm in the best shape of my life <laughs> because I've been I've been stronger than this at, at certain times and I've been leaner than this at certain times but we're doing pretty good right now I'm feeling good best I've felt in a while <sighs> but that has to be probably with sleep and our schedule yep have fun kill Sandy we'll catch you later man hey if you guys got a free twitch prime sub later I'll take care of it for you by the way Uh, I'm gonna do a few more sets and then we gotta move along so we can get some gaming in today. Whew. But we'll get there. We will get there. Mm. Woo! Oh. Pumping. Mm -ah. Be safe though, kill Sandy. Mm. But yeah, I want to get a little bit more work in before I call it a day. But we have a nice little pump today, that's for sure. Nice little pump, nice little chat. It's good. It's good. Nice work, I do. Yep, I use the bodybuilding.com signature series free workout. It's real good, inexpensive, well dosed, good ingredient stuff. Exclamation mark subs, we'll link that for you. And of course, exclamation mark BB will give you our bodybuilding.com link where you can order anything from bodybuilding.com and you support us with your purchase. Hey! channel too. Plenty more content coming for you on there. Every day we got workouts. I want to do some like edited workouts too with commentary along with guides and updates and stuff like that. But we'll definitely be posting our full workout sessions up there too. Oh! 
Sting it. Sting it. Shoulders are about good for today, almost. Arms and shoulder workouts are so much fun. That's such an important muscle group for me to, to pump up too. Yep. Couldn't get your pecs going. That's all right, everybody struggles. For me, it's probably shoulders, but give yourself some good nutrition. But honestly, I wouldn't, I wouldn't wait around to start working out. You can definitely get some good pumpage at home. Smash some put, like just smash push-ups, crunches, body weight squats. If you have any kind of thing to do, like a pulling movement on, you could like maybe like a pull-up bar, just row. Just pick up some stuff and just row it. <laughs> you know, do some curls with something. You know, you, you got some options, but I wouldn't wait around, especially if you struggle with chest. Start doing just hundreds of push-ups a day. Yeah. Just start doing hundreds of push-ups a day. See how that goes for you. Uh, yep. Yeah. Picking some of us fine. You could use a line jerk body as you could. But like I said, even just push-ups and push-ups and crunches and bodyweight squats is a great place to start. If you do push-ups intensely enough, it'll work your back. Trust me. <laughs> If you use good form, you catch yourself on the way down with your back anyway. You can type exclamation mark, uh, exclamation mark gym shark challenge and see if you can do that workout. As many pushups as you can. Take a three minute break, as many push-ups as you can. Take a three minute break. Do that 10 times. <laughs> or do as many push-ups as you can while I'm doing 50, and then take a break. Just try to match me for sets, not, not even, and time and sets, not even the reps. Yeah. And then do crunches too. Wide versus close hand. I, I mean, I'm probably pretty wide. Follow the video? Yeah, you can try. Like I said, do push ups for as long as I'm doing push ups. Take a break when I take a break. Like I said, you, you don't have to match me rep for rep. You just have to just keep trying as long as I'm doing a push up. And if you can't do a push up for as long as I'm doing push ups, then do as many push ups as you can and do crunches until I'm done with my set. <clears throat> you can try that. Or squats. Whatever. You can do the same thing with crunches too, right? You can do you can do crunches the entire time I'm doing push-ups. Or I do 10 sets, spoiler alert. So you can do like three, you can do like push-ups one set, crunches the next set, squats the next set, and then go back. Push-ups the next set, crunches the next set, squats the next set. So you do like three rounds, and then one extra round of push-ups. Just do it for time. Match me for my sets and recovery. That's what I'm saying, Lisa. Yep, you could. You certainly could. Certainly could. Yeah. You start a workout program, sure people would buy it. I mean, I know people would buy it, but like people will buy stuff, but I'd rather just make it for free, man. Make, have the content be free and you guys can support in whatever way you choose to do so. That's that's my preference. So to me, that's better than uh, making you guys buy something. I don't like to have my content gated behind payment. And I, don't, I understand it's a thing, nothing wrong with it. It's just for me personally, that's, I'd rather just make it free and then have you guys enjoy it and support it in the way that you feel comfortable with by subscribing here on Twitch or powering up with the bits or whatever, you know? Or just watching and commenting on it and helping the content grow just with your viewership and support. It doesn't even have to be monetary. So that is my personal preference. That's how I've done things for a long time. That's how I'd like to continue doing them. But speaking of continuing doing things, I think we do need to take a break on the workout for today. I think two hours of good old arm pumping uh, is probably good for now. Like I said, I could do these workouts forever and ever, but um, it's about 9.30. I'd love to be on the gaming stream by 10 today so we can pump up some, uh, some PVP after we knock out a few little orders of business to start the day. 
But um, like I said, thank you guys so much for tuning in and for showing big love. 16 subs and resubs today. If you guys enjoy the stream, make sure you follow. We are here every morning kicking butt in the gym, and then every weekday we're following it right up with gaming. So you guys can stay tuned for that. Um, uh, and if you really enjoy the channel and the content, like I said, you guys can consider subscribing with Twitch Prime or it's a normal old sub. It's great to have that locked in. And of course, powering up with the bits is always a lot of fun. And we definitely enjoy that. But for now, let's wrap it up on a good note. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for showing love. And of course, just stay right here because we're going to be firing up the uh, gaming stream within the next 30 minutes or so, if not like 10 minutes. So thanks for watching. Appreciate the love. And we'll see you very, very soon. Peace.